alaikum and a very good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the examples of set inductions that we can do during our teaching process. For your information, there are a few elements that we need to consider to include in our set induction. The first one is attention getter. It's up to you how you want to do it to attract the students attention. The second one, we have to ask them about their well-being, like how are you, what did you have for your breakfast and something like that, so that they know someone is, someone's care about them. And the next one is, you try to recap their prior knowledge about what you learned last week or yesterday. So indirectly, they have like a short revision. You also can proceed with the class management, like them to clean their surrounding, like if there's any rubbish or wrappers under their chairs. Then you can proceed with the topics that you want to learn, like what are the things that you want to focus as more. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning everyone. How are you today? Good? Yes, Sinar, what did you have for, uh, for your breakfast? A fried rice? Oh, my favorite! Your mom made it for you. Oh, that's lovely. Anyone else? Yes, Hamdan. What did you eat for your breakfast? A chicken salad? Wow, that's very healthy, Hamdan. Good. Okay, before we start our lesson for today, Mm, can everyone check under your tables and chairs if there's any rubbish or wrappers? Amira, I can see there's a wrappers under your chair. Pick it up. Okay, we have to make sure our environment is clean, like what the principal said during the assembly this morning. Okay? Alright. Oh, I can see there's someone not here. Oh, yeah. Where's Liana? What happened to her? Yes, Amira? Oh, she's sick for two days. Oh, so you plan to go and visit her after the school? Yeah, okay, that's good, Amira. Uh, don't forget to send my regards to her, okay? All right. Last week, we learned the first F, our F. <laughs> what did we learn last week? Yes, good, Fadil. We learned about... Family, we have father, we learned about mother, our siblings, brothers and sisters. Alright? Okay, so for this week, today, we are going to learn our second F. Can anyone tell me? Yes, yes, it be good. We are going to learn about friends, circle of friends. We are going to learn about our friends. So, just now, Hidayah mentioned that she wants to go to visit Liana because she's not well. That's a good, all right? Because as a friend, we have to know our friend's condition, okay? We cannot simply put aside our friend's feeling. We have to uh, ask them whether they are okay or not. We cannot make them feel sad. Okay, anyone knows Faiza Tahi? There's in one song, he mentioned about there's a lyric in his song. He said, Siapa sebenarnya aku padamu? Mungkin sama dengan teman lain yang bisa kau buat begitu. Dan bila tiada lagi teman bermain, kau pulang mendapatkan aku. Itulah aku. Padamu. Oh, that's not good. We cannot put aside our friend's feeling when we don't have someone else to play with and then we go and find them. No, 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 cannot. We cannot do that. But we have to, like what Bruno Mars says in his song. Aha, anyone know this song? You can sing together with me, okay? You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause 
that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah Oh my god, you guys are good, you know the lyrics, okay? So we have to take care of our friends' feeling Like what we did with our family Because our friends is considered as our family too, right? We have, we have to love them and take care of them About their feelings especially So, that is all so, I hope this video will benefit all of you, especially for future teachers. Have a nice day! Bye!